Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Yellow episode Who Cares. Um, in the last video we defeated the rocket boss Giovanni and we got um, the self scope. No wait we didn't. We didn't get the self scope yet. What are you talking about? Um, you cannot toss out key items such as the SS and ticket like I said last episode. So we're going to toss out the HP up. Why not just use it? I have no idea. Because I'm silly like that. Or sell it. I mean it's, it's worth a lot of money. You could have just sold, uh, I don't know, anything. This has to be the biggest fail in the world, alright? I went back outside, I go back in, I go back out. It takes me three times to actually stay inside of this elevator. I got so frustrated. It's like ridiculous. I was about to like restart the recording because I felt so stupid, but I already picked up the self-scope and didn't want to re uh, turn off my game, so. Anywho, uh, quick way out of the um, rocket base, you just go up the elevator. And stuff. I mean, my throat is really dry today. Um, those, those guys had nothing really important. It did have a po uh, a new Pokemon we haven't seen yet, but we'll see it pretty soon, so there's no point. Um, I'm just gonna drink my soda real quick. Hold on. <sighs> Bubbly. Anyways. Um, I was being really silly and did not, uh, go get something of importance to the left of us. Which, um, would have saved us a lot of time. But I decided to hop on my bicycle and go anyways. Um, me not thinking you could, we can just cut through, uh, Saffron City now, so there's no point in going through the underground tunnel. So, not only did I go, uh, there is an entirely easier way to go there, but there's also an easier way on top of that. So it's like, why did you go the other way? It's like, no point. That guy was weird, because he wasn't even looking, and he battled me. He was just, like, facing the opposite direction, and he wanted to battle. Uh, I still haven't battled those guys up there, I'm gonna do that off screen. Because I'm running out of money, actually, to buy stuff. Um, yeah. And just cross now where we got Kellogg's, the most overpowered Pokemon in the world. Oh, you have no idea until he gets, like, his last move. It is so ridiculous how strong that Pokemon is. But I'm also worried, because I'm not the only person that uses one in this game. Ugh, cough, cough, final loss. Um, right here, I need to heal my Pokemon. I thought I'd cut this out, but I guess I didn't. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. Can't see where we are in the video. Must not take very long. But yes, um, we do get a new Pokemon in this episode. Why am I? Where am I foreshadowing in like a t like a 10 or 11 minute video? I mean, it's like, you can just wait. Why? Why not wait? I mean, people don't even know this crap. You know, my, my throat gets dry. My my like teeth start like smacking and stuff. I I really noticed that last episode. But um, with self scope in hand, we are now going to tackle on the Lavender Town Tower. Yep. Um, I already explained, uh, Blarg, and there's people up here. If you talk to those people, they actually say weird stuff. Everybody up here says weird stuff. I might just keep some of the battles in. They're not too long, but every single um, trainer in here uses the same Pokemon, except for a rival, of course. Like, the same exact same Pokemon. And I was scratching my nose. Like, literally, why do I keep scratching my nose during these recordings? I keep, and like, in this episode, in this recording, I didn't eat before I recorded this. I'm waiting to make a hot dog or something afterwards. Why am I telling you what I'm about to go eat? This is stupid. Oh yeah, I know um, last episode, uh, when I couldn't figure out what to uh, call the thing I was thinking of. It's director commentary. That's what I was thinking of. That's on DVDs. Anywho, this is a very cool Pokemon. It is a ghost poison type named Haunter. I want it. Actually, I was just going to kill it and just be like, this guy's cool. But um, yeah, he gets to red health and he becomes confused. I'm like, yay, maybe he'll kill himself. Nope, he's going to use Confuse Ray on us. So that's just that's just great, making the battle longer. So I thought I'd switch into Diglett. Hopefully, he just either kill the Diggler or hurt himself. Unfortunately, he does. He just hurts the Diglett. Actually, he confuses it. So, <laughs> uh, so he's just making this battle way too long, and I don't want to be here. And then he stops being confused and licks me, which is nasty. I mean, how are you gonna lick a Diglett? He's in the ground all day. He's probably dirty. He's probably never even showered before in his life. I mean, it's just a Diglett, and you're you're licking it. That's nasty. Weirdo. What's wrong with you? <laughs> but yes, um, keeps using Confuse Ray, and Lick has a chance of paralyzing. It's not very high, but it can happen. And, uh, he hurts us. Blarg. Um, why do I keep saying Blarg? That's an enemy from Ratchet and Clank. I always remember those guys. They're weird. Such a hard final boss. Oh my goodness. Why am I talking about final bosses? No, this is Pokemon. There's only one final boss. Anyway. Get him, Yellow! Uh, he should have just named him something funny. Yeah, we're gonna Thunder Wave it, because now I feel like capturing it. 
Yay! And Confuse raises us, but it's like... Confuse raises us? <laughs> but I'm not going to switch it. I'm just going to catch it with our two Great Balls. Flug. Flug? That's the most random thing ever. No, Kafloosh. Kafloosh. Kafloosh! He appeared to be caught, but he was not. He uses Nightshade, which is going to do exactly 27 damage. If I'm wrong, someone come slap me with an, am Ugh, an amateur bear. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, one more Great Ball should do the trick. That kind of like takes the fun out of, uh, or I mean, doing this post is kind of fun, because you not as fun, because you know that you're going to catch the Pokemon, or how many uh, Pokeballs it takes. Haunter, gas! By looking at Sap's enemy's vic or the victim's life, it, ca it causes shaking that will not stop until the, until the guy dies. Ugh. Stop talking. And, uh, I was going to name him something, like, cool, like, name him Purple or something. No, I'm just calling him Jello. Don't ask me why. Cause it's an inside joke. And we gotta battle this turd. <laughs> Can't even like understand how to do these sound effects. And yes, this is a channeler. They are channeling ghosts of some sort. And every single person has ghastly. It's really annoying. Really, really annoying. And uh I thought <laughs> I thought the long like a little kid, right? Seven years old or however old I was, I don't remember, honestly. From, like four or something. It's like night. <laughs> It's, uh, like, 1999 is, like, when I was in kindergarten, and that's why I swear everyone was playing Pokemon, but apparently that's when nobody was playing Pokemon, so I don't really get it. But yeah, I thought Ghastly was, like, a fire type. It's kind of like a fireball. And, and then the channel says, hmm, what am I doing? Apparently, the, um, Ghastlies are going crazy and possessing their channelers. Ooh, spooky, uh, um, yeah. I kept this battle in because the most awesome thing is going to happen... Actually, no, I didn't. What do you know? Person said, prepare to be cursed. It's a little weird that they kept that in. Um, right here, we're going to use an item super repel, so we don't run into random gas leads, and I don't have to cut out stuff. Yay! So no more cutting, hopefully. Yay! Blah. Um, yeah, I thought they'd change, like, some of the stuff for the re-release of this game, but they didn't. They kept a lot of it in, like, about possessing and, uh, white magic and stuff, and, uh curses. I thought they'd take that out. Um, yeah, uh, this lady, she's, like, pretty much the halfway point, and she'll heal some dudes up, which is awesome. Um, weird lag going on. Anyway, uh, I stuttered for a minute. Man, I gotta stop stuttering. I need, we gotta stop doing the Wandy voice. I can just tell you what that, why now? I don't know I sound when I do that. <laughs> can you, I don't even know how to do that. What's she trying to, like, do? Is she, like, a so you want a Kit Kat bar? Give me a Kit Kat bar. Yeah, I have another gas lead, and he's gonna use fire moves because he's a fireball, and fire Pokemon do that. I seriously thought he started out as a fire Pokemon and then went into a ghost type. It's like that doesn't even make sense. Not a lot of Pokemon do that, and even nowadays. Yeah, one hit kill. Kellogg's is just beating the crap out of them, literally. Get the gas out of them. And we're about to learn a new move called Psy Beam. Psy Beam is stronger than Confusion. And considering con Confusion can one hit kill people as it is. That's pretty crazy. Um, we're gonna get rid of Disable because Kellogg's really isn't a defensive Pokemon. It's more of an off, like a full offensive sweeper. Kee! <laughs> that looks really loud on my Audacity thing. And me thinking, wow, I can just go down here. Nope, you still gotta battle him. Earthqua? People say we. These people make the weirdest things ever. I'm sure it's like supposed to be different. Can you just stop talking and drink your coke? You're thirsty, man. Gas, like, man, it is hot in this house. Like, uh, can we close the windows? My gosh. And I just want you, yeah, Psy Beam, just the best ability ever. I mean, I'm not not really technically the best so far, but it's so strong. Blurk. Something fell out. Yeah, I don't even know what they mean by that. Something fell out. Um, and this is what I was thinking of the second rare candy they force you to get. You have to pick this up to continue because that's the only way to get in here. Be gone, intruders. Uh, remember someone saying Cubone's mother? Well, that's the ghost. Ghost appeared. The self-scope unveiled the ghost's identity. Without the self-scope, um, we cannot attack this enemy and it just kick our butts. I think you can run, but I'm not sure. This is a Marowak. The evolved form of Cubone. You cannot catch it. Don't try. You can't. I've tried it. You can't. I'm gonna get really lucky here. I keep forgetting green is also a poison type. And luckily, he does not use his very strong ability or attack, Bone Club, which would like kill half the team if he got it powered up. Or actually, he missed. He does use it, but 
it misses, thankfully. It is really strong. And two Vine Whelps will knock out that Marowak, making him look like a retard. Not really retard, just worthless. The ghost rests the so er. Yeah, the ghost falls to peace, and it's now calm, and departs to the afterlife. How sad. So, uh, we should have a moment of silence. Anyways. There I go saying anyways again. Well, anyways isn't as bad as whatever. But that's why I said in Super Mario World. Stop right there! And we got another rematch. And it's like, yeah. They're talking about how they're taking Mount Fuji and he's theirs. And you gotta fight it for him or something. It's not very clear. The game's really weird. If you really, like, take apart all the dialogue. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. It'd be a really broken story. It's not like a bad story, it's just the dialogue's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, uh, our Psybeam cannot one-hit kill this Meowth. Just barely, though, it lives. I mean, that's just, like, a small margin. Like, so minuscule. That's why I'm keeping on Confusion for the meantime, just, like, to have more PP. Because, um, stronger moves usually, um, have less PP, so you can't use them as often as weaker moves. So it's, for right now, let's just keep Confusion on our Kellogg's. And, uh, Ekans turns into Arbok, a really cool looking snake, and Arbok backwards is Cobra, just like Ekans a snake. And the coughing turns into a Weezing, which is uh, probably the grossest Pokemon ever. It has another Pokemon, like, genetically fused onto it. It's just nasty. And we kill that guy too. So, Kellogg's is pretty much just being invincible right here. You will regret this! I don't think I will. And you guys are cheap. You gave like eight bucks and they're blasting off again. Hoo hoo. Mr. Fuji, huh? You came to save me? Thank you, but I came here on my own free will. I came to calm the soul of Cubone's mother. I think Merak's spirit has gone to the afterlife, no duh. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my Pokemon, to my home. <laughs> At the foot of the tower. At the foot of the tower. That was always a weird saying to me. It's like, oh, it's at the foot of this hill. And I was like, what? The foot? And he's saying how your quest will be futile if you don't love your Pokemon and stuff. And he was going to give us something for a quest, but I need to make stuff and put stuff away in my bags. And I did that off screen. So we're going to have to watch the slow butt uh, item system in this game. And he gives us the Pokemon's flute, which if you remember, uh, it will wake up pretty much all Pokemon. It is, however, not work in battle and wake up Pokemon how you'd think it would. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, see you guys later.